Frankenstein creations are something many enthusiasts find quite funny or perhaps disturbing. Many were just one-off or rare field conversions. One example which differs from these, though, is the French AMX US, a conversion mounting the M24 Chaffee turret on the AMX 13 hull. 150 of such vehicles were created and used by the French army at the end of the Algerian War. Welcome to this tank encyclopedia video on the AMX US conversion. Feel free to leave a like and a subscription, as well as checking out our website for the full written article this video is based on, and countless others. After the Second World War, France's armored forces consisted almost entirely of US-built vehicles, like the M4 Sherman, M26 Pershing, and the M24 Chaffee, among others. France received these vehicles as aid as part of the Marshall Plan and the Mutual Defense Assistance Act. These aid packs also financed the reconstruction of France's economy and armed forces from 1948 until the late 50s. In April 1949, the North Atlantic Treaty was signed, and NATO was born, resulting in the United States extending the MDAA. This resulted in France receiving newer vehicles, like the M47 Patton II. In total, France would operate around 1,250 M24s, which were identical to their US counterparts. It was a small tank at 5.5 meters long, 2.8 meters wide, and 2.61 meters tall. It weighed 16.6 .6 tons, utilized a torsion bar suspension, and was armed with a 75 millimeter gun. The tank had a five-man crew, a commander, gunner, loader, driver, and bow gunner. The Chaffee was named after World War I U.S. Army General Adna R. Chaffee Jr. The French Army deployed its M24 in both the 1954-1962 war in Algeria and the 1946-1954 First Indochina War. It served with distinction in both theaters and would be used very extensively, being a true workhorse of the French Army, particularly in Indochina. During the infamous defeat of Dain Bain Phu, a corps of 10 Chaffees, which were disassembled, airlifted into the base and reassembled there, formed a major backbone of the French defense, with 15,075 mm shells fired by only 10 tanks during the siege. The AMX-13 was designed and built by the state-owned manufacturer of AMX. The tank was designed in the late 1940s and appeared in service in the early 1950s. It was designed to be a lightweight, highly mobile tank destroyer that could also perform the reconnaissance tasks of a light tank. It was lightly armored, with the toughest plates being just 40 mm thick. Its main armament consisted of the 75 mm SA-50 high-velocity anti-tank gun. The gun was mounted in an innovative oscillating turret and was also fed via an auto-loading system. The AMX weighed in at around 13 tons and was 6.3 meters long, 2.5 meters wide, and 2.3 meters tall. It was operated by a three-man crew consisting of the commander, driver, and gunner. The tank went through many upgrades with many variations based on its highly adaptable chassis. The French military only retired the AMX in the 1980s, but many other nations retained it in service. Now, before we get into this disturbing conversion, here is a brief interlude featuring our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering all kinds of interesting subjects. From photography to 3D modeling, music production, and so much more. In fact, I am currently following a class covering Capture One by Cat Cadeau, which is really helping me master editing these pictures I took in Rome. This class is full of convenient information that I can return to listening to whenever I want to, and is very intuitive and easy to understand. Now personally, what makes Skillshare special for me is that it is designed to give you an effective and pressure-free experience that will help you learn and discover knowledge. Skillshare doesn't display any ads, does not have any additional paywalls, no bait and switches, you are free to explore absolutely everything. And if it couldn't get any better, Skillshare is running a promotion. What kind of promotion? Well, the first 1000 subscribers who manage to click the link in the description below will get a one month free trial for Skillshare. Thank you for checking out Skillshare! Ads like these help us keep growing. And now, onto the AMX US conversion. In 1956, DEFA and the French military were investigating ways to efficiently upgrade the aging M24. Initially, this led to the mating of the AMX-13's FL-10 oscillating turret to the hull of the Chaffee. While cheap and feasible, this configuration never went further than trials. This was largely due to a perceived safety issue with the high explosive rounds fired by the SA-50 cannon. Inside the FL-10 turret, the SA-50 gun was fed via an automatic loading system, which was reloaded externally. 
If an alternate shell type needed to be fired, HE for example, it had to be loaded into the breach manually by the commander. This was a tricky task in the tight confines of the turret on the standard AMX, made worse by the notoriously sensitive fuse of the HE rounds. This process would be even more dangerous on the smaller hull of the Chaffee. As a result, the inverse of the mounting was decided upon, mounting the Chaffee's turret on the AMX-13 hull. The shorter 75mm M6 gun on the Chaffee also made it generally a better platform to fire HE rounds. The reasoning behind combining the turret and hull was to keep the very effective armament and turrets of the Chaffee in active service, which could not be achieved while keeping their hulls, as these had been worn out by years of use in unfriendly environments including jungles or deserts. By 1957, work on mounting the Chaffee turret to the AMX hull had begun. The M24 turrets went through very little modification for their installation, retaining all the same main features. The only modification necessary was the introduction of an adapter or collar to the AMX's hull turret ring. This was needed as the Chaffee turret had quite a deep basket. The collar granted the basket clearance from the hull floor for uninterrupted full 360 degree rotation. The Chaffee turret was a standard design with the typical three-man crew of the time, gunner, loader, and commander. The commander sat at the left rear of the turret under the vision cupola. The gunner sat in front of him. The loader was located at the right rear of the turret under his own hatch. Armor on the turret was 25mm thick on all sides, with the gun mantlet being 38mm thick. Armament consisted of the 75mm lightweight tank gun M6, which had a concentric recoil system. This is basically a hollow tube around the barrel, a space-saving alternative to the traditional recoil cylinders. Variants of this gun were also used on the B-25H Mitchell Bomber and the T-33 Flamethrower tank prototype. The shell velocity was 619 meters per second and had a maximum penetration of 109 millimeters. The elevation range of the gun was around negative 10 to 13 degrees. Secondary weapons were also retained. This included the coaxial 30 caliber Browning M1919 and the 50 caliber Browning M2 heavy machine gun, which was mounted on the rear of the turret roof. Apart from the collar, the AMX hull went through no alterations. It retained the same dimensions and forward mounting engine and transmission. The tank was powered by a SOFAM Model 8 GXB 8 cylinder water cooled petrol engine developing 250 horsepower, propelling the tank to a top speed of around 60 km per hour. The vehicle ran on a torsion bar suspension with five road wheels, two return rollers and a rear mounted idler, and a forward mounted drive sprocket. The driver was positioned at the front left of the hull behind the transmission and next to the engine. Trials with what would be designated the AMX US were undertaken between December 1959 and January 1960. The vehicle was well received, with an order for 150 conversions being placed by the French military in March 1960. Conversion work was carried out by the plant in Gain, North Central France. The AMX US was operated by a four man crew as opposed to the three man crew of the AMX 13, due to the three man turret of the Chaffee. The AMX US saw brief service in the war in Algeria, otherwise known as the Algerian War of Independence or Algerian Revolution. They served well, but a few were lost in combat. One known operator was the 9th Hussar Regiment based in Oran, which also used AMX 13s. There is no evidence to suggest that they served in any other location with the French military, such as in France or West Germany-based regiments. After the conflict in Algeria, the vehicles were returned to France. They did not last long in active service after this, with many vehicles being repurposed into driver trainers. For this, the vehicles were disarmed with the 75mm gun and mantlet removed from the turret face. In its place, a large plexiglass windscreen was installed. In this capacity, the AMX US stayed in service until the 1980s, when they were finally completely retired. After this, many were sentenced to death as range targets or simply scrapped. This concludes Tank Encyclopedia's video on the AMX US field conversion. We hope you liked it. Don't forget to check out our website and our Patreon. And until next time, keep us in your sights.